Ancient water on Mars could have been as carbonated as seltzer water. Mix it with the right minerals and you've got carbonated rocks like the ones found by Perseverance on this episode of Mars Guy. Mars was warmer and wetter billions of years ago with a thick CO2 atmosphere. That would have led to carbonic acid rain falling from the sky and weathering rocks to produce carbonate minerals. In the olivine-rich terrain called CETA that Perseverance has been exploring, carbonates have now been identified that may be evidence of that scenario. Here's the view from MassCam Z when Perseverance entered CETA. It spent most of its time up on a ridge of rocks where it collected two samples. Here's Mars Guy for scale. But before that, it first visited these slabby, dust-covered outcrops. Here's a rock hammer for scale, and as a comparison to the abrading bit on the drill, the closest thing to a rock hammer that Perseverance carries. It used this bit to grind into the rock to get a better look at the minerals inside. This view shows the drill just before the bit was extended. The drill uses rotary percussion action, which can cause vibrations that trigger mini avalanches, like this one in front of the outcrop. The NAVCAM view shows the grind spot and the tailings after the compressed gas dust removal tool blew them out. Some of the dust cover also got blown off, and there's a sand avalanche up top as well, the most concentrated erosion in Jezero Crater since landing day. NASCAM Z provides an even more detailed look, but the Watson camera on the robotic arm gives the highest resolution color view. This shows the mauve colored coating, or mauve, depending on where you're from, which the abrading bit cut through to reveal the colorful angular grains of the rock underneath. These grains may be bits of volcanic ash from an explosive eruption, or perhaps they formed in a magma chamber, but some recently released results from the Sherlock instrument on the robotic arm show that there are carbonate minerals mixed with olivine and other minerals in this rock. As the name suggests, Carbonates have carbon in them, which typically comes from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that mixes with water and alters existing minerals. The result is carbonated rock. Here's an example from Dish Hill, California. The CO2 can be liberated from carbonates by dropping some dilute hydrochloric acid on them. This is the classic way geologists use to identify carbonates in the field, known by its technical name, the fizz test. Without carbonates, the fizz test does nothing to olivine and pyroxene, like in this sample from the San Carlos Apache Nation in Arizona. It doesn't take hydrochloric acid to liberate CO2 from pop rocks, just a squirt of water. In this case, water dissolves sugar and releases the trapped CO2. Carbonates release CO2 when acid breaks a bond in the CO3 anion. Perseverance collected two core samples of these carbonated rocks from the top of the ridge. Returning these samples to labs on Earth will provide details about the watery environment and the atmosphere of Mars from billions of years ago.